Resident Evil Village has tons of different lore and interesting details to explore that helps push the Resident Evil series forward. But there's one piece of information, one little glimpse that could change the entire lore structure of the series. Late in the game, when Chris Redfield is exploring the lab of Mother Miranda, he finds tons of documents about the experiments that she has done with the mold and the Megamycete, but he also finds several old photographs and a letter. A letter from someone that you might remember in the Resident Evil franchise. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person, while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will forever be in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, it also sounds familiar to Chris Redfield, who mentions this after finding the documents and the letters. Spencer. Here. No way. Oswell E. Spencer was one of the creators of the Umbrella Corporation and a well-known character and enemy in Resident Evil 5. This new information indicates that Oswell was able to create this corporation due to the research and information first gathered by Miranda. It also suggests that that iconic image, the sigil, that represents everything Umbrella Corp is, is actually a token from Miranda herself found within her curios in this mountainous lair. Now, some of the previous lore kind of contradicts that with the logo actually being representative of the Spencer coat of arms or perhaps some of the flower shapes that first went into creating the biomechanical processes that led to Resident Evil. But it is interesting to consider how the works of this woman over centuries helped push the events into motion that led us to everything that is Resident Evil. And it's interesting that there's the mention, of course, of the progenitor virus, because that pushes us forward even more in the Resident Evil timeline. Now, my question to you, do you think this is a valid change of canon and flushing out of the lore of the series? Or is this maybe just a strange kind of piece of connecting tissue that maybe, you know, doesn't really make sense if you examine it a little bit closer? I want to know. Please comment below.